Hi, this is Jonah Dempsey. I'm in Ibiza, and I'm continuing on with this idea of exploring the lines. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference in the personality and the design. And this is part of our elements of compatibility. So we're kind of exploring in terms of how we relate to each other and using the original research of Steve Rhodes, where the lines are really seen in terms of their reactivity. So the question today is, what does it mean to have a reactive mind versus a reactive body? What does it mean to have an opportunistic mind versus an opportunistic body? And what does it mean to have an initiating or unreactive mind versus an unreactive body? Well, there's a few interesting uh, points we can see right off the bat. I'm a 5-1, so I have a fifth line personality. That's a, an unreacting mind. Well, it makes sense. The, the collective role of the fifth line is the general. And you don't want your generals to be reactive. You don't want to be um, showing up and telling the general their troops have been killed and that, uh, and the general goes, oh my God, the troops are gone. What do you mean? You know, you don't want a huge reaction from that. Same with the sixth line, the administrator. You don't want your administrators to be extremely reactive, right? So that's at the personality level. But then the design is reactive. So what does it mean to have a reactive design? What does it mean to have a design where you know, I might be completely unreactive, but then break down crying or have some strong reaction, particularly physically, particularly if my physical space is uh, changed, is touched in some way, like physical touch, things like that may cause a very strong reaction to me where, where you might be caught off guard because the personality is so unreactive. Then you have the other way around. Um, you have, I guess you don't, you have someone like a, like a two five, right? This would be an un, uh, sorry, a very reactive personality and unreactive design. So what does it mean for their design to be so unreactive? You can't get through to them. They're almost disaffected at the physical level, but their personality is being so reactive. These are some interesting avenues of exploration, right? And then um, I guess the, the other question to look at then would be, like, say you have an opportunistic mind and an initiating design. You have three profiles that have this, the three, five, the three, six, and the four, six. Well, these, none of what these profiles have in common, you know, also with the six, three, is that none of these profiles have line one or two in them. So these are the least reactive profiles. But unlike the six, three, which has a, um, an opportunistic design, the three, five, the three, six, and the four, six have initiating designs. So what does it mean to have a design that initiates? Well, this could be taken as literally as people who make the first move. I'm a 5-1, so I can seduce all day long with my mind, but when it comes to actually having some sort of physical intimacy, some physical intimacy with someone, I'm usually the last to start anything. I'll be laying down next to someone talking for hours, and then our hands will like brush each other's hand, and then suddenly there's a huge reaction physical reaction, right? But a three, five, a three, six, a four, six, you know, you're talking to them, you leave the room, you come back, they're naked. It's like they have this physical initiating way of being. I've seen it so many times where a three, five physically initiates, where a four, six physically initiates. So we really have to understand what this idea of initiating is uh, at the design level versus the, the personality level.